Zulu shaman's moon mystery. The Zulu legends claim that reptilian brothers, Wuwane and Banku, brought the moon here millions of years ago. Throughout history, humanity has been captivated by the celestial bodies that adorn the vast expanse of the night sky. Among these celestial wonders, the moon holds a special place in our collective imagination. Its silvery glow, ever-present yet ever-changing, has inspired countless tales and mythologies and legends across cultures. However, what if there was more to the moon than meets the eye? What if its existence was not merely a product of cosmic happenstance, but rather a result of an extraordinary event orchestrated by beings far beyond our world? The belief that the moon is an artificial satellite stems from a range of observations and speculative theories. Proponents argue that the moon's unique properties and peculiar characteristics cannot be fully explained by conventional scientific models alone, and instead they propose that an advanced extraterrestrial civilization or an ancient, ancient human civilization with advanced technological capabilities placed, uh, played a role in the moon's creation. Theories supporting the claim that the moon is an artificial structure. One intriguing aspect of the moon that has sparked speculation is its precise circular orbit around the Earth. Unlike the irregular orbits of other moons in our solar system, the moon's path is exceptionally stable and nearly perfect, perfectly circular. Some argue that this orbital stability is too precise to occur naturally and suggest that it could be the result of deliberate engineering. And further, the moon rotates around the Earth, but it shows only one side, and the dark side of the moon, the far side, has never been seen, so this raised eyebrows. Also, it would be impossible that the Earth's gravity would hold the moon in place because of the size of the moon in relation to the Earth. However, strangely, the Earth's gravity pull keeps the moon in place. Another reason why scientists have speculated that the moon is artificial is because during the 1969 Apollo mission, astronauts landed on the moon expecting that the lunar surface would vibrate. However, it was stable, which seemed unnatural. Moreover, proponents of the artificial satellite hypothesis point to anomalous structures and artifacts on the lunar surface that defy conventional explanations. Unexplained geometric formations, potential artificial structures, and alleged sightings of unusual activity have fueled speculation about hidden lunar bases and civilizations that may have played a role in the moon's creation. Scientists believe that the moon serves a surveillance mechanism, it could be such, meticulously placed to monitor human activities. Proponents argue that the moon's unique characteristics and its proximity to Earth provide an ideal vantage point for an advanced civilization to observe our species and its progress. Now the Zulu shamans and the story of the two reptilian brothers who brought the moon. Zulu shamans refers to the traditional spiritual and healing practices of the Zulu people in South Africa. Zulu shamans, known as Sangomas, are spiritual leaders who connect with ancient spiritual uh, spirits and, and facilitate healing, and they use divination rituals and herbal remedies to maintain balance and provide guidance within the community. According to the Zulu shamans, the moon was placed near the earth millions of years ago by two reptilian brothers, Wowane and Banku. They were known as the Water Brothers. Wowane and Banku had scaly skin similar to that of fish. Zulu stated that the Water Brothers stole the moon from a large fire dragon, depleting it to the point where it became a hollow shell. Then they rolled it around and eventually placed it near the earth. After the arrival of the moon, the earth faced massive destruction, they said. The arrival of the moon resulted in the end of the Earth's golden period. Before this event, the Earth was a very peaceful planet, they say. As the moon arrived, the Earth's rotation and angles changed, which resulted in women's menstruation and much more suffering. And lastly, Zulu describes the moon as a spy satellite to keep an eye on humans. Also, the moon is a reptilian mothership parked in the solar system and will be used in future catastrophic events, the legends say. 
and the moon, with its serene presence and profound influence on Earth, continues to captivate our collective consciousness. Its phases mark the passage of time, its gravitational pull shapes our tides, and its beauty has inspired poets, artists, and dreamers for millennia. Whether it was brought here by ancient beings, engineered by advanced civilizations, or simply formed through natural processes, the moon remains an awe-inspiring celestial companion in our cosmic journey. And please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. And this is on Infinity Explorers by Kostub Chidari. Thank you. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.